friends let's learn tens and ones with me what are we going to learn in this video we are going to see how to divide a number into tens and ones and why is it important to divide a number into tens and ones can you see so many apples on the ground there are so many apples and it is difficult to count them so make it easy we are going to divide all these apples into groups. First, we are going to divide them into groups of 10. So now I have divided these apples into groups of 10s. There is one group of 10, another group of 10 apples, and the third group of 10 apples. And there are two apples left alone. Let's see how to count them and write them as a number. After dividing the apples into groups, it will be easy for us to count them. You can see a box over here where tens and ones is written. First, we are going to count the apples which are left alone and which are not a part of any group. How many apples are there? One, two. So two is a single digit number. It will go in ones. So write two in ones. And how many groups are there? Of 10 10 apples let's count the number of groups 1 2 3 so there are three groups of 10 apples so we are going to write down 3 in tens column so how many apples are there all together there are 32 apples 3 2 32 let's check out another example oh this is a farm and there are so many sheep over there Let's count these shapes in an easy way. See, I have divided the shapes into groups of 10 10 shapes. And there are some shapes which are left alone. Let's count them. First, divide the shapes into groups of 10. There is one group of 10 and two groups of 10. And how many shapes are left alone? One, two, three. So 3 will go in 1's and how many groups of 10 sheep are there? 1, 2. So 2 will go in 10's. So how many sheep are there all together? Who can tell me? 2, 3, 23. There are 23 sheep. Now here I am going to tell you that how to represent 10's and 1's. There is a group of 10 sheep and there is one sheep all alone. The one sheep which is alone will be represented by one small box and 10 sheep will be represented by a big block of 10 small boxes. This is how we can represent 10s and 1s. 1s will be represented by small boxes, single small boxes and 10s will be represented by a big block of 10 small boxes. Now let me show you how to represent these number of shapes in the form of blocks. There is one group of 10 shapes. It will be represented by one block of 10s. Another group of 10 shapes will be represented by another block of 10s. Then the leftover shapes will be represented by tiny little boxes. That means they are ones. They are the single digit number. They are left alone. Now let's count them. First we are going to count the ones. How many small boxes of ones are there? One, two, three. Let's write three in the ones box. Now let's count the blocks of ten. One, two. There are two blocks of tens. So write two in tens box. This is how we can count them all together and we can count, we can tell easily that there are 23 sheep all together. Let's find out how to write a number by counting the number of given blocks. First we are going to count the blocks which are representing ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 one boxes. Now let's count how many blocks of 10s are there. 1, 2, 3. So write 3 in 10s box. 
So how many blocks are there all together? There are 34. Let's do the next example. First count the ones. One, two. Write it down. Now count the number of tens blocks. One, two, three, four. Let's write four. So how many total number of blocks are there? 42. Four to 42. Now it's time for you to solve the sums. There are some blocks given and you have to write the answers in the given tens and ones blocks. I am going to solve the first one. So do it along with me. The rest you are going to solve by your own. For the first one, we are going to count the number of ones block. One, two, three, four. So there are four small boxes. So write four in the ones box. Now let's count the tens blocks. How many tens blocks are there? One, two. So write two in the tens box. So how many small boxes are there all together? There are two, four, twenty-four in total. Now let's do the rest of them by your own. Thank you for watching the video. I will be back with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.